player set to be at Celtic next season, Postacoglu planned working well. Callum McGregor's experience was missing last night, but if Celtic win the title this season, they go straight into next season's competition with a core of players that took the blows and setbacks of this campaign. Some players are bound to move on next summer, but there will be replacements. However, never again will Postacoglu have a rebuilding job like the one he walked into last summer. Improving on finishing is one obvious issue, but the intangible that is experience gets teams through awkward situations. This season there have been periods in the second half of each of the matches where Postecoglou's side has been caught short. As the Celtic manager said last night, We haven't been in this competition for five years. If you do that it's very hard to just come in and make an impact. We know the areas we have fallen short in this campaign, and they are the areas we obviously need to improve in. But that only comes with experience and learnings and improvement. That's our task to take what we learned this year and improve for next year, but we have to qualify again. We haven't been in this competition for five years. If you do that it's very hard to just come in and make an impact. Our job and my responsibility is to make sure we are there every year. If we are there every year and keep chipping away at it then we will be able to make more of an impact. There is Madrid next week and farewell to Europe for the season. From there on the SPFL Premiership title is the target and a return to mixing it with the elite of the European game. We have been embarrassed this season in Europe, unlike some teams. Look Big Angie has been making plans for Champions League long haul. And that says he's going nowhere soon. Postacoglu insists it's his job to lead Celtic to the Champions League group stage every season and then prove they can really compete with the cream of the continent. The Celtic boss was adamant, his men were able to compete with the best, but he vowed to make sure Celts are regulars at the very top level. Postacoglu said, it's about the experience and striving to improve. The boys are in the dressing room feeling flat, and that shows where our ambitions lie. It's our first time here in five years. We know the areas we have fallen short in this campaign and the areas we need to improve in. But that only comes with experience and the task is to take what we've learned into next year. We have to be in this competition every year if we really want to make an impact. You can't go five years without being in it and then come in and expect to make an impact at this level. That's our challenge, that's what I mean about becoming a Champions League football club. We need to be there every year. That's true. Chris Sutton has perfectly summed up Celtic's first time back in the Champions League in four years, good, but just not good enough. The ex-Celtic player said on Twitter. Well done to Shakhtar Donetsk. Celtic out of Europe. Missed opportunities did for Celtic in the Champions League this season. Some good performances. Good chances were created, but bang average finishing. But I like what Angie Postacoglu is building. Celtic might be out of Europe prematurely, but now we have a title to defend so we can get back to Europe again next season. If we can keep the nucleus of the squad together, we'd expect the Celtic FC could do better next time around. Back to the Celtic youngster, Mikey Johnston news that he will be returning to Celtic in the summer, once his loan spell at Vitoria Guimarães is done with. The Portuguese side are hopeful he can be a trump ace in the pipeline for them after coming back with a bang against Boa Vista. Johnston now looks certain to make a name for himself after his display in that game in which he was a star of the show. Fast, creative and with goals in his veins there is a growing hope the Celtic man can kick on and erase a recent past that's been halted by injuries. He went to Portugal to get fit and play regularly at a competitive level, with Angie Postacoglu knowing he faced big competition in Celtic's first team squad. His decision to send him out is seen as a lucky one for Vitoria, who believe they have found another pearl for the remainder of the campaign. However, his stay will be a short-term one. The newspaper explains that at the end of the season he returns to Glasgow, hopefully with a season of first-team football under his belt ready to compete with Furuhashi, Abida, Haksabanovic, and Jota for a first-team place. 
And on that note check out what Big Angie says about his move to Celtic, and why he gets what Celtic is all about in this video here. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up.